the first thing I thought when I heard the key speakers was that how amazingly good the bottom end was. They sound like big main monitors in a small cabinet, you know. And second, I also was the clarity and the flat frequency response. There's no like holes in that frequency response, it's completely flat. I always been kind of um, thinking top end speakers always been a little bit too bright. I always like darker speakers. But this is actually the first speaker that is flat that I actually like. This top end is amazing as well, as well as the bottom end. For me, the keys are just an extension of the music. I don't really hear this, uh, um, I don't really hear the room in them. I don't, I don't hear a speaker, I just hear the music, how it's supposedly intended to be. It's night and day difference. I, I, I don't get to do revisions anymore, really. I maybe one revision for some small little changes, um, but it, when it's when I when it's right on the keys, it is almost right everywhere all the time. I do loads of mastering on the keys. Yeah, I always send the master track uh, after I mixed it, and um, sometimes they don't even need to go to mastering because they are happy with it as it is. The last project I did, they were just happy with the the mixes I sent them or the master as I sent them, I should say. All done on keys. All done on keys. The key control has this amazing smooth digital control over the volume. And there's no clunky, noisy relays like in my old monitor controllers. It's uh, it's just super smooth. The DAC in the keys are amazing. It's uh, it's sounding better than anything I have here. So that's why I choose to run on digital. I connect them via AES from my Burl monitor chip, and. Um, it's just one cable, very easy. One of the really good things about the keys are that you actually don't have to check your mixes outside the studio as much. I totally rely and I'm totally 100% confident that what I'm doing on the keys in the studio is going to sound like I want it outside. What I really like about the keys are that you can mix on really low volume and still get the fullness of the bottom end. They always sound the same at all volumes to me. I am 100% confident that what I'm hearing in the studio will translate to the outside world and with no surprises. As you can see, this is the only speaker I use it nowadays. I don't even have a second set of speakers. I trust them that, that much. I used to have three pairs to switch between. But thinking back, I, I did, maybe that just made me more confused. Because <laughs> having one set of speakers that you really, really trust, it's just been a game changer for me.